Hello. In this first video on Safari, we're going to talk about the interface for Safari, what it looks like, how to kind of navigate around in basic ways as well as your preferences. And then we're going to have a few more videos uh, just on Safari on how to make bookmarks, to save pages for later, what RSS feeds are, how to do some Google searching and use tabs and things like that. So for this one, let's just jump into Safari and we'll just take a little tour around kind of what it looks like, okay? Um, I'm going to try and bridge the gap between those of you who have like almost never used uh, Safari before and those of you that uh, are pretty proficient and just want some tips, so bear with me. Um, this, top along, this bar along the top here is called your toolbar. On the left side, you'll have arrows to let you go backwards and forwards between the different web pages that you travel to. This plus button here will let you add a bookmark, and we'll get to that in a minute. This part here with this uh, HTTP colon backslash, etc., uh, is called the, uh, the URL bar or you know address bar or something like that. Um, and this is where you can type in the specific address to a specific website that you want to go to. Okay? Uh, on the right side here, you have Google searching. This is where you can type in a generic term that you want to search for. Okay? So uh, it's kind of like over here in your address bar, you might type in a specific address. Uh, just like if you knew a specific address to a person's house, you could go directly there, but if you don't know where their house is, you have to search for it first, so you might uh, search more generally. So similarly, um, specific websites go in here, something something.com or whatever, uh, and on the right side is where you do your generic searches like Chia Pet or iMac or you know, whatever. Uh, just beneath that bar is what we call your bookmarks bar. Uh, again, we'll get into that in a little more detail in a different video on bookmarks. Um, before we jump in too much, I always find it useful to take a look at the preferences for any new program that I'm using. So on a Mac, if you want to look at the preferences for your program, you can go to the name of the program in the top left corner of the screen. In my case, it says Safari. Click on that, and there will almost always be an option here for preferences. Take a look around uh, here before you jump in, because this will let you customize uh, the program to work the way you want it. I'll just point out some, some relevant features real quickly. Uh, one of them is the home page here. Uh, of course, everyone wants to have their custom home page with their company or their news provider or whatever it is that you're interested in. Uh, you want to see first thing whenever you open up Safari. Um, the way to do that, I'll close this, is to navigate to the site that you want to bookmark. So for example, NewYorkTimes.com. Okay. Now we're going to go back to Safari, Preferences, and then just click this button, Set to Current Page, and watch. Notice here where it says My Home Page. It's just going to paste in New York Times. So now if I close all of this down, close my window, Now I'm going to go to open up a new Safari window. It should open directly into New York Times. Okay, So go ahead and do that with whichever uh, web page you want to see right off the bat. Okay, A couple notes on Google searching um, just to get you started. Some people get tripped up when they click on the magnifying glass here to type something in. If you click on the magnifying glass, it's just going to show you a list of your recent searches. It won't let you type stuff in as easily. Okay. Um, instead, click where it says the word Google, more over here on the right side. You can click anywhere inside this white bar. Click there, and then you can type in whatever it is that you want to search for. Okay, Hit return on your keyboard when you're finished typing, and of course it'll bring up your Google search page with your relevant search results.